Here's a tutorial for my arrangement of ELO's Mr. Blue Sky. Just before I show you the arrangement, I want to let you know that you can get the tab for this arrangement on musicnotes.com. There's a link in the description that you can find that'll take you straight to the tab. If you want to learn any of the techniques I use in greater depth or any of my own music or other things relating to the guitar, check out my Truefire channel, the Fretboard Atlas, which is over on truefire.com. Again, there's a link in the description. And finally, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one. All right, so for Mr. Blue Sky, we're in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And the arrangement is in the key of G. Uh, the original tune is in F, so if you want to play along with the original, tune your guitar down a full step. Uh, but the arrangement that I have is in the key of G. And it starts off uh, like this with a G triad, G, B and D. And what I'm doing there is I'm muting the strings of the guitar with the fat part of my palm down here. Like this. Just playing on the beat and coming into the uh, the sort of heavier section. I'm strumming a bit quicker with my fingers. Like that, mainly my first finger supported a little bit by my um, second or middle finger. And then in there to where we have the, the lower or essentially the full uh, G bar chord. That is, if you follow my caged plus system, that is G as an E shape. So we've got that, and then into this, and then into the lower G. Bring in the back beat, like that. Then we start picking out the melody. And a good tip here, lay off the back beat. You want that melody to be able to sing out. Your audience doesn't miss the back beat so long as you suggest it um, enough throughout the arrangement. So I lay off the back beat. Bring it back in, lay off, bring it back in. That's a good general guitar arrangement tip there. Um, so the melody is kind of built into that first G shape. All happening on the second string, D, E flat, D, B, D, B, E, E natural I should say. Slide in A to B, and up to D. Then we go down to F sharp minor, and this is an extended F sharp minor, it's like an F minor, F sharp minor 7. Then a B7, uh, then down to an E minor, and the melody there is E, B, A, G. Then we have another melody, E, G, A, B. And what I'm doing is I'm playing a low A chord. If you follow the cage plus system, this is A as a G shape playing the lower four strings of it. Then up to F sharp minor, that's like your F sharp minor is an E minor shape. Up to B7, A, B, G, there's a C chord. So what's happening there is I'm taking my C chord, playing G, A, B, C, B, A, B, those are the melody notes and I'm also getting the harmony notes on the second string. So the melody is on the third string. Uh, like that, and the harmony is on the second. B, C, D, E, D, C, D, like that. Uh, then we finish off with this, I suppose this is like a D7 suspended chord. Uh, suspended four chord, so you've got regular D7 like that, it just means that the F sharp is suspended, so it's a G instead of an F sharp. Like that. Um, and so that takes us up to here. So when we land back into this G, so what I do there is, again, the harmony idea into that D7 chord. Uh, and then we repeat all of that same information, or most of it again. Changes now when I get back to that C. That's 
all the same info we've just covered up to that C chord. First time I did this. But now we're gonna do this. So what's happening there is, I get a C chord with a G on top, G melody note. This chord is a C chord, it's a C triad, C, E and G, with a D in the bass. And I'm using this to move downwards. So what's happening there is a C triad, C, E, G, 5th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, D in the bass, D chord, C chord with D in the bass, so that's like the regular C, but a D is in the bass, D again, and back to G. So that gives us the... And it's just a kind of a subtle thing here, that's a D suspended down to a regular D chord. This is D as a C shape. That. So that's the A part. Then we move into the second part. Mr. Blue Sky, So what's happening there is I hit an E uh, harmonic on the sixth string, twelfth fret, and the next four notes are harmonics. So that's E on the seventh fret, fifth string, G on the third, uh, excuse me, on the third string, twelfth fret. Uh, fourth string, seventh fret, second string, twelfth fret. So that gives us E, G, A, B. Then we get our D here. The D is on the tenth fret, and it's a, a fretted note, not a harmonic. So what's happening there is I'm playing the same notes, the same pitches, E, G, A, B, but these are all fretted notes now instead of being harmonics. So the first time, harmonics. Same thing, uh, and that's on the uh, ninth fret, eighth fret, tenth fret, seventh fret, like that. Harmonics again, E G A, and a fretted note then for the B. So they're all slightly different. First time is harmonics, second time is fretted notes, third time is a mix. Harmonic, 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 and that's like a little um, hammer on there. So A, B, A, A, G. Then I do this. So this is, um, you could think of this as a C chord up here. The middle part of a C, which, and an A in the bass that gives you an A minor 7 chord. Then you've got an A minor 7 chord down on the 5th fret as well. So up here you've got, uh, from string number 4, it's fret 10, 9, 8. Then fret number seven, five, five, like that. As long as it's going G, E, any of those um, voicings will work. Uh, then we go up here, uh, like this. So this is um, the part that goes so long, so long. And the way we get that, that sort of effect on the guitar is that if we get the 10th fret here, fifth string, that's a G note. We can strum through the other open strings. That's a D and a G, so it's consonant. Uh, we've got B and D up here on the on second and first strings. So you've got um, twelfth fret, second string for B. Top string then is tenth fret, there's a D. And I'm playing those in thirds. So B and D, G and B. And slide the notes down. Then this is a little subtle thing. What you want to do is you're you're landing into an F chord here, so um, kind of aim for the third string first when you're strumming to get that A, then the second string on its own, B, and then when you're going for that last note, the C, also hit the first string with it. So you'll notice that I get the first two movements on a down stroke, then an up stroke to get those those final two strings ringing out. Then that's a C chord, G, A, G. So put all of that together, harmonics, fretted notes, harmonics, hammer on, 
A minor chords, G chords, F, C. Same thing again. And then I finish off with this chord. That's a C chord with a D in the bass. It's the same voicing as this chord we learned in the A part, but instead of playing it here, I play it here instead. Like that. Real Motown kind of sounding chord. Um, so I kind of hammer on that, or I hammer into it, I should say. Like that, so I strum through it with my fingers. So I move straight from that. So that's like a one, two, three, four, one and a two and a into that little riff. D E G B C B and slide into that last note. And this brings us into kind of the the guitar solo section of it. Uh, so. section so that's kind of an open G this is like I always think of this as the Paul McCartney Blackbird G that same voicing up here um, so what I'm doing is D G B C B and here are the notes B A G B E D G B B A G E G A B E G A A G A B A B G G A B C B that's what's going on in my head when I'm thinking about this section. Um, so in possibly more practical terms, we've got uh, a G up here. That's 10th fret and 12th fret. 12th fret. And again, that's 12, 10, 12. Back down like that. This is an F sharp minor. F sharp minor that looks like an A minor 7. B as an E7 shape. There's E minor 7 as an A minor 7 shape. There's A as an E7 shape. Moving back up to the F sharp minor. Down to the B again. C. And this is C as an E shape. Move the top two notes up to the D. Then we have this. So what's going on exactly there is uh, 12th fret and 12th fret, uh, 14th and 13th, 12 and 12, 11 and 10. And then I hit the G note and the harmonics on the 12th. Uh, and then I play this. So this is a little harmonic run. This is tough to do. Uh, you put your thumb on the 10th fret to get the D. Then you have E, D, C, B, G, E, D, in like that. So that's uh, fret by fret. 12th fret on the first string, 7th fret on the third string, 8th fret fretted note on the first string, that's a C. Then we've got 12th fret, 12th fret, and then an open string, and back into G. So when I play that whole thing, um, they have from here. I'm back into the um, sort of the A1 section, if you want to call it that. So that's the first section and second section, and the guitar solo section. Then we come back into. Let's go through that section. Uh, we've got starting off at a G again, picking out all those notes. Now here's an interesting chord. This is another voicing of an F sharp minor, but it's not one we play particularly often. You can think of this as the middle part of an A chord, so it's A as an E shape, that triad of A, 
with an F sharp on the bottom. Like that. So it's kind of like an, a better voicing. Instead of playing that or this, we want that E melody note to be on the top. Then a B7. Then an E minor. And again, it's kind of the, the melody is always rising. Uh, then we come into E, stay on that E minor. Into, I suppose you would think of that as like an A6 chord, or just an A chord with an F sharp melody note. Um, so that is the, uh, from the fourth string, that's the seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. F sharp minor. So that's uh, just your regular bar chord down there, F sharp minor bar chord. But I play it with my thumb so that I can lift off the first string. So coming off that. Uh, now this is a really tough one to get. This is a B chord, but we want the E string to ring out. I'm covering the 5th string 2nd fret with my index finger. I'm covering 3 strings with my little finger. So I'm covering strings 4, 3 and 2 all along the 4th fret. 1st string is open, index finger on the 2nd fret, 5th string. Really tough movement. Like that. I want all of those ringing out clearly. Strung through the C chord. This is the same as the A section. That's that uh, C over D. D, C, D. Then we go up here. So this is an E flat chord. E flat is a C shape. Up to F as a C shape. And we lift off the two fingers we have. That gives us the, the harmony that we're looking for. That leads us in then to an E minor. So um, coming from that, uh, and then back into the uh, harmonics again. Now second harmonic section. So this part is tough as well, it's it's all difficult, but this part is particularly difficult. Uh, so we get the harmonic on the 12th fret on the 6th string again, and we aim for these notes. B, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, B, B, E, and then switch to fretted notes. D, C, D, G, G, C, um, B, A, B, G. F, G, A, F, E, F, E. That's what I'm thinking in my head, melody was. Um, so what happens there is B on the 12th fret, 2nd string. G on the 5th fret, 3rd string. By this time there's a D in the bass. Then we've got F sharp, which is the 7th fret on the 2nd string. E, 12th fret, 1st string. Back to that F sharp. Then B, 12th fret, 2nd string. Then I get the open strings, uh, D, G, and B. I kind of touch off them lightly. And I get that E, I pop that E out a lot more. And the reason I do that is so that they'll be ringing out when I get down to the B note, because otherwise it'll sound very bare. So then we've got an A minor. And again from earlier, that's that um, C triad. A in the bass, but you'll notice there's a hammer on. I'm actually starting from the seventh fret down here, hammering on to the ninth fret on the third string. C on the top string. So that is, um, you could think of this as G as a C shape, but I'm only really focusing on the top string, the second string, and the fifth string, a little bit on the fourth string as well. B A B G down 
to, uh, you could think of this as an F chord as a C shape to start off with. Um, this is down here. So what's happening is I have my thumb on the A. It's an F first inversion, so there's an A in the bass, not an F. Um, we've got the fifth fret, skip a string, seventh fret, fifth fret, sixth fret. So that's F, G, A, F, E, F, E. This is a C chord with a C in the bass, E, F, E. Same thing again, harmonics, D in the bass, harmonics, pick notes. minor then I just slow it up I play the same chords again F with A in the bass that's C up to C suspended and again I kind of slow it down and then strum through a G um, this is kind of where the radio edit ends but then I go into this section the uh, string section So what's happening here is I'm pumping the bass on an E flat, and then I'm playing an F down to E flat. That's like E flat as a C shape. So F up here, think of this as F as a D shape, down to E flat. Keeping that E flat in the bass. Then I play this. So we go from this, uh, the F over E flat, down to E flat, down to a B flat chord. Uh, this is a B flat first inversion, so it's got a D in the bass as opposed to um, the B flat in the bass, the root note. So that's F down to E. F E flat F B flat F E flat F E flat F. And we play the same chord again, but we pick it out no, string by string. One two three. Then we go down to, um, this I suppose is like a B-flat minor first inversion. So it's now B-flat minor on top and a D-flat, or otherwise known as C-sharp in the bass. That then leads us to this. This is an F chord in its second inversion. This is F with C in the bass. Like that. Then we can think of this one. You could think of this if you wanted as like an like an A minor with the C in the bass. There are lots of different ways to think about what these chords feel like. To me, they feel like um, yeah, the first one feels like an F. You could then think about this one as like an F. You could think of it as major seven as well. The shape um, is probably more immediately important, which is a, a C in the bass on the eighth fret. Skip a string. 10th fret, 10th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret, and then the second shape is exactly the same except the third string goes down one fret. Then we've got um, this movement, this is really nice. This is like an E flat 7 chord, like that, so E flat 7 as an A7 shape, but it's got the B flat in the bass. And what I'm doing there is I'm moving from uh, the uh, kind of the notes that are in the chord, playing the fourth string and the second string, third string and the first, then up both of those notes up to the eighth fret. Lovely chord here. This is a um, a C chord. Uh, it's C seven, but it's like a C augmented, like that. Really, really nice chord. And it's also got this sharp nine, or flat nine, excuse me, up on top. It's like an augmented flat nine chord is what that would be. Um, so that's C, uh, and then we've got, so fret by fret, you're looking at the eighth fret, skip a string, eighth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, like that. Or if you're going note by note, uh, you'd be looking at C, B flat, E, uh, G sharp, and C sharp. resolving to an F chord, so really lovely. So again, we have a similar sort of a movement. It's F as an A shape. So 
again, we could think of this as an A minor chord, or we could think of this as F down to F major 7, and we move that F down to an E, which is also a major 7. Back to the E flat again. Then up here. So those are all the lovely harmonies leading up there. We keep that E flat in the bass. You could think of this chord as like a... Like the top part of that, that's like B flat minor, C minor, uh, D flat, E flat, F. That's the way I would think of it. Um, fret by fret, you're looking at the 11th fret in the bass. Uh, top three strings, then you're looking at the 10th fret, 11th fret, 9th fret. Move that entire shape on top up two frets. Then we move up to our D shape. So we've been doing a D minor shape. This is now a D shape up here to get that um, D flat chord. Up to E flat, can play that on its own without the bass. And then F. That's F um, as a D shape up on top. And then hit that low F as well down on the first fret, sixth string, like that. So I'm gonna put all that together. B flat minor, C minor, D flat, E flat, F. And that's how the arrangement ends. So that's the whole thing, that's Mr. Blue Sky. As I said, if you want to get the tab, you can get it on Music Notes. If you want to learn more from me, you can find the Fretboard Atlas over on Truefire, where I teach all the time. And as I said, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well for more content like this. So, hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I hope it's useful to you, and I hope that I can hear your cover of this very, very soon.